Hi, I'm Dawn Daniels McNear, the U.S. Canada Safeguarding Advisor. I thank you for making a conscious choice to volunteer with Habitat for Humanity. We know that you could have gone anywhere else, but you chose us, and for that we are grateful. This part of your orientation is devoted to sharing the expectations and responsibilities you carry as a Habitat for Humanity representative related to safeguarding. Each person who volunteers or is employed with Habitat for Humanity is considered a Habitat representative as you are representing the Habitat brand. This short video addresses Habitat for Humanity's zero tolerance for sexual abuse, sexual exploitation, harassment, bullying, and discrimination. Before we begin, it is important to note that this content may cause distress as the subject matter can be sensitive and challenging. I encourage you, if needed, to seek additional support. Safeguarding is the prevention and response to harm caused by physical or sexual abuse or exploitation, harassment, or bullying of people in the communities we serve, especially vulnerable adults and children, and also the people who we work or partner with. Any actions or conduct that may discriminate against, harass, abuse, or bully other individuals are prohibited. This includes comments or actions that demean or are hurtful to people. Any harassment, including bullying or discrimination, is prohibited conduct. We've looked at general misconduct. Let's now begin to define sexual misconduct. Sexual harassment is any unwelcome sexual advance, comment, expressed or implied sexual demand, touch, joke, gesture, or any other communication or conduct of a sexual nature, whether verbal, written, or visual. Sexual harassment is a form of sexual misconduct and a prohibited behavior. Sexual abuse is another form of sexual misconduct. Defined as any actual or threatened physical intrusion of a sexual nature, including inappropriate touching, whether by force or under unequal power dynamics or otherwise coercive conditions. Lastly, sexual exploitation is defined as any actual or attempted abuse of a position of vulnerability, differential power, or trust for sexual purposes, including, but not limited to, profiting monetarily, socially, or politically from the sexual exploitation of another. Sexual exploitation is also a form of sexual misconduct and a prohibited behavior. Research shows that certain settings, such as isolated settings, gender-imbalanced environments, situations with significant power differentials, can place people at higher risk for experiencing exploitation, harassment, or abuse. Power means having control, authority, or influence, and exists in our relationships with other people. Power dynamics are about how power, perceived or real, affects a relationship between two or more people. Power dynamics affect all parts of our lives, from our places of work to our homes. At Habitat for Humanity, while working with our staff members, volunteers, partners, research participants, community members, and each other, we experience and must navigate many different types of power dynamics. The key premise at the center of safeguarding is that sexual misconduct, bullying, and harassment are about power, and more importantly, abuses of power. We serve those with limited access to stable and affordable housing and other vulnerabilities. As such, you, as staff and Habitat representatives, are in a position of power and authority, having the ability or perceived ability to grant or deny access to resources and assistance to those we seek to serve. We must acknowledge that, due to our position of power, as Habitat representatives and the vulnerability of those we serve, there is an increased risk of exploitation and abuse. However, as a representative of Habitat, someone may be in a position of power and authority over you too, where their power could be misused. This is why, at Habitat, we emphasize that the safety and well-being of everyone we interact with and the reputation of our organization depends upon all Habitat representatives' ability to identify and report safeguarding violations whenever they witness or experience them 
supported by the systems and protocols established by their local affiliate leadership. Up to this point, you have learned what safeguarding is and how to recognize it. We now want to briefly share with you how to go about reporting any concerns you may have. If you witness or experience behavior that feels inappropriate or intimidating, even if you are unsure if it is a safeguarding violation, as a Habitat representative, it is required that you report your concern. All reports will be investigated in a fair, neutral manner. Building a culture of trust and a healthy work environment starts with recognizing and disrupting any disrespect or dehumanizing behavior. Anyone, volunteers, partners, community members, and Habitat representatives can be a victim of someone's abuse of power. As representatives of Habitat, we must choose to use our power responsibly. We do this by speaking up and reporting when we witness misconduct, understanding the power that we have as a Habitat representative, demonstrating compassion, and choosing to be a role model within Habitat for Humanity, treating others with respect and dignity, and committing to do no harm. Habitat actively promotes a speak-up culture where staff, volunteers, and representatives feel comfortable raising concerns about harmful acts. In cases where there is an immediate risk to an individual's personal safety, speaking up happens in the moment and witnesses are encouraged to call attention to the risk in order to prevent harm. In situations that involve a safeguarding violation, the act of speaking up in the moment may escalate the situation and risk the safety of you or the individuals involved. In these cases, speaking up refers to reporting the concern by utilizing the safeguarding systems in place within 48 hours. Investigating the situation or details is not your responsibility nor our expectation. Depending on the situation, taking action in the moment and intervening as a bystander may be an option if individuals are trained to do so safely and appropriately. However, in all situations, reporting the concern is the expectation and responsibility of every Habitat representative. Should you need to report an incident, please contact your affiliate site supervisor or the staff assigned to support the health of the organization, such as a safeguarding officer. When reporting an incident, you may remain anonymous, but you are encouraged to provide as many details as possible, including your name for thorough follow-up. Your report, anonymous or otherwise, will be treated with the same gravity, though the extent to which it can be investigated may be limited by the anonymity. Concerns will be addressed in a timely, fair and respectful manner. Reports will be handled confidentially to the extent possible and only shared on an authorized or need-to-know basis. Reports will be handled as appropriate. Corrective action will be taken for all substantiated reports. Disciplinary methods, up to and including termination, will be considered. Habitat for Humanity does not tolerate any form of retaliation against a person reporting a concern. Your local affiliate has policies and resources to support reporting and reporters. Habitat is committed to supporting staff, volunteers, and representatives who are affected by safeguarding misconduct. Everyone within Habitat for Humanity plays an important role in creating and maintaining a speak-up culture and a safe working environment. As a Habitat representative, you have a responsibility to hold yourself and others accountable to the highest ethical standards. As a reminder of your commitment to building a safe environment, please take a few minutes to read and sign the Habitat for Humanity Volunteer Code of Conduct. Remember, we can only address and stop safeguarding violations if we all are committed to being a part of the solution. If you find that you need to report a safeguarding violation, but would like to remain anonymous or want to file the report outside of your local habitat, please review habitat.org for information about the Habitat Ethics and Accountability Line. Thank you again and welcome to Habitat for Humanity.